So there's news all over the place with Jump Fest and we got the latest trailer in Dragon Ball Super Superhero released. I I did see the trailer during Jump Faster, but I wanted to wait until the subtitles came out to give my thoughts and I did make a video after the first trailer because I, I was going to wait and let it settle and see what else they added before I made my opinions because it's early days, we still don't know much about this movie, but we got a broader scale as to what, what direction they're heading in, which I'm all for. Right off the bat, it looks like Goku and Vegeta for the most part is going to take a back seat in this movie, which I have no problem with. I think that was the biggest criticism that Gohan fans in the, had in the previous movie. I mean, hell, he wasn't even featured at all. Obviously, Piccolo being one of my favorite characters, I'm all for it. It looks like Piccolo's also going to be the one to train Pan, which makes sense considering the history of Gohan and Piccolo when Piccolo trained Gohan as a kid back in the day. I'm curious what role Pan's going to have in this movie, if anything at all. I guess Videl and Gohan are letting Piccolo train her instead of like, because if this were Chi Gi, it's like, nope. Nope, you could. so shout out to Fidel and Gohan for letting Pan train with Piccolo. No better person because Piccolo did for Gohan back in Super when he was like up right up bottom, but then Gohan, it's kind of the steady build up, but they kind of cut it off short in the Tournament of Power, and now Gohan's going to get the focus in this movie. But we've been burned by this before, so I'm not, I'm not going to set my expectations so high, but I will add to that by the end of this video. But the moments that stand out to me the most are parts of the story, which... It's intriguing because they reintroduced the Red Ribbon Army and I guess they're trying to portray Goku, Vegeta and Boo as the as the villains because obviously they, they, it looks like they're being portrayed as wanted criminals who, who's nothing but trouble with the Red Ribbon Army are going to push that narrative and it's going to be up to Gohan and Piccolo to resolve this issue. I hope that's where this goes but up until this point it, and I know Broly's in this movie too because there was a small scene that was kind of like microscoped by a lot of viewers so shout out to them I didn't catch it at first I'm sure a lot of people didn't until you slow-mo it but yeah Broly's like sparring with Goku but it, for all intents and purposes if I have to be honest it looks like Broly and Goku are there as, as draws to like bring in the viewers like hey check it out Goku and Broly are part of this movie but Gohan and Piccolo are going to be front and center, which I hope that's the case. What other type of role is Broly and Goku going to have in this movie other than sparring with each other? The other intriguing part is Gamma, who's I guess the, the main threat of this movie, got up against Gohan. He starts off with Piccolo because he's firing energy blast. It looks like it damages Piccolo. Last movie, Piccolo was kind of reduced to like teaching Goku and Vegeta the fusion technique. So I hope the sh Give Piccolo some shine here, as well as Gohan. But yeah, I want to know more about Red Ribbon Army and what they're really up to here. I don't really go out my way to check out the synopsis, so I kind of want to know what's up when the movie drops. The fact that they're utilizing other side characters after so long of waiting. I do find it, speaking of Tournament Power, I do find it interesting that they're using the outfit from the manga that we just, that we've got with Gohan and the Tournament of Power, and it's the same outfit we've seen before at the Cell Games, it's just Gohan's an adult now. Also, I think Hera's also incorporated that to one of their video clips. But yeah, it's just the cool callback to like wearing his Cell Games outfit. By all rights, it could be that the resurrection of Gohan, like stepping up here and taking care of this, resolving this issue without Goku or Vegeta. By the way, it looks like Vegeta is also with Broly and Goku, and the only reason I say that is because if Vegeta was on Earth, given the fact how much he cares about Trunks, Buller, and and Bulma, I'm pretty sure Vegeta would be there to like take care of Gamma. That could be another reason why he's not there and Goku's not there, because if he's on par with Gohan, I'm pretty sure Goku and Vegeta could deal with this. So yeah, there'll be no conflict. Also, it looks like Gamma's going to push Gohan the Super Saiyan. Obviously, t some time has passed because obviously the age of Pan, which a lot of people hoping Goten and Trunks get some type of spotlight in this movie, which I don't really know if they are. What I care about more is the story and what if they are, what they have to offer. Most of the focus is going to be on the Gohan family, which again, I'm all for. It's a really different movie from what we're used to getting. I think Gohan got some of the spotlight in the second Broly movie, Second Coming, where he's dealing with Broly. Ultimately, it was the triple Kamehameha between the father son bro. Ultimately, it was Gohan that was dealing with Broly before Goku and Goten helped him out. And before that was kind of Bojack, even though Goku again came in with a punch to save Gohan. Gohan was the, the one that ended up taking out Bojack. So I hope Gohan gets that similar role here. 
especially with the outfit he's wearing. I think it's, um, again, Gohan's not in my top five, but I do like the direction they're going in compar in comparison to the previous movie. I'm kind of wondering if we're going to get the, if we're going to get Android 17 and 18 appear in this movie, because it's the Red Ribbon Army and they're, they used to be affiliated, so it would make sense. Again, I did check out the subtitles, so I'll leave the link to that trailer in the description box below if you want to check it out. It's very intriguing with the with the characters they have in play with Gohan and Piccolo. Like I said, I hope Piccolo puts up some type of fight again before Gohan steps in. It looks like he's going to go Super Saiyan, but if you look at the last action sequence of that trailer, it does look like Gohan may go Super Saiyan too. I don't want to I don't want to jump the gun or anything because we don't know how strong or how much weaker Gohan's gotten in this time. Because obviously, there's obviously been a time skip since the time of Power and Broly to now. He may go Super Saiyan 2 in this movie, uh, or maybe go beyond an ultimate. We don't really know for sure. Yeah, other, other than that, I'm kind of curious to see what happens with the Red Moon Army. And I'm finally see Piccolo and Gohan in the forefront, dealing with this threat. Hopefully resolving this threat. While at the same time, you have the intrigue of Broly being, I guess, like, being a sparring partner for Goku and possibly Vegeta. But let me know what you guys think down below. I want to get my quick thoughts on that. That's going to do it for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you did it. Thumbs up. I appreciate that. Subscribe channel for more Dragon Ball. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks guys. Bye.